Good morning children and welcome back to online class. I hope we all learnt well the previous topic what I taught already. Last week we all learnt one of the physiological process that takes place in plants that is respiration. Do you remember what is respiration? Yes. What is respiration? Respiration is a process of oxidation of food that releases energy in the form of ATP. Which organelles are responsible for respiration? Mitochondria are the organelles for, responsible for respiration. Mitochondria are also referred to as the powerhouses of the cell or ATP factory of the cell because as a result of respiration, mitochondria release energy in the form of ATP. So they are referred to as ATP factory of the cell or energy currency of the cell. There are two types of respiration that we learned. What are the two types of respiration? Aerobic and anaerobic respiration. What do you mean by aerobic respiration? Aerobic respiration is a type of respiration where oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out or it is nothing but oxidation of food that releases energy in the form of ATP. What do you mean by anaerobic respiration? Respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen. Aerobic respiration that takes place in three stages. First stage is glycolysis. Second is Grub cycle. Third is electron transport chain. First stage. What is the first stage? Glycolysis. That takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Second stage. Which is the second stage? Grub cycle. It, is, it takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. The third stage is electron transport chain. It is located on the inner membrane of the mitochondria. What do you mean by anaerobic respiration? Respiration that takes place without oxygen. That is anaerobic respiration. So anaerobic respiration is also termed as fermentation. Next, the last one is RQ or respiratory quotient. RQ or respiratory quotient. This respiratory quotient may be defined as the volume of oxygen consumed and the volume of Carbon dioxide liberated out during respiration. That is respiratory caution. In short, we can term it as RQ. Okay. Now, you are going to mark the book back question answers or the evaluation part. Please turn, children, you have to turn page 184 in the textbook. One, page 184. See, choose the correct answer. Roman number 1, choose the correct answer. Fourth one, which is formed during anaerobic respiration. Option B is correct. That is ethyl alcohol. Which is formed during anaerobic respiration? Ethyl alcohol. Then fifth one is Grubbs cycle takes place in which option? Option B is correct. That is mitochondrial matrix. Sixth question, oxygen is produced at what point during photosynthesis? Option C, that is when water is split. Then Roman numeral 2. Third question, glycolysis takes place in dash. First to mark, we marked already. If you want, I will tell you one, one more time. Cortex lies between dash, epidermis and endodermis. Second one, xylem and phloem occurring on the same radius constitute a vascular bundle called conjoint. Question number three, glycolysis takes place in dash, that is cytoplasm. Question number four, four the source of oxygen liberated in photosynthesis is water. Fill up fifth one dash is ATP factory of the cell. Mitochondria. Mitochondria is ATP factory of the cell. Next, Roman numeral 3. State whether the statements are true or false. Correct the false statement. First statement given us flowing tissues involved in the transport of water in plants. Children, you all know that. 
There are two types of tissue, conductive tissues present in plants. They are xylem and phloem. Xylem conducts water and mineral salts. Phloem conducts the food material. The given statement here is phloem tissues involved in the transport of water in plants. This is false statement. Which is the correct statement? How to write this sentence? Phloem tissue is involved in the transport of food in plants. So, you have to underline the term water and write food in plants. Instead of water, you have to write food. Instead of water, you have to write food. So, underline the term water and write food. Second one, the waxy protective covering of a plant is called as cuticle. That is true. Third statement, in monocot stem, KBM is present in between xylem and phloem. The given statement is false. All dicots have KBM, so the width of the stem increases, isn't it? So in monocot stem, KBM is absent. So what to write us? In monocot stem, KBM is present in between xylem and phloem. The given statement is false. So instead of monocot stem, you have to write dicot stem. So underline the term monocot stem and write dicot stem. Fourth question, palisade parenchyma cells occur below the upper epidermis in dicot root. Root do not have this type of tissue. So instead of root, you have to write leaf. So the given statement is false. Instead of root, what you have to write is leaf. Palisade parenchyma cells occur below upper epidermis in dicot leaf. Dicot leaf. So instead of root, you have to write leaf. Fifth question, mesophyll contains chlorophyll. True. Sixth question, anaerobic Sixth statement is anaerobic respiration produces more ATP than aerobic respiration. The given statement is false. Anaerobic respiration produces more ATP. With uh, this, instead of anaerobic respiration, you have to write aerobic. Aerobic respiration produces more ATP than anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic. So instead of aerobic, you have to write anaerobic. Instead of anaerobic, you have to write aerobic. So, I am telling the statement once. Aerobic respiration. Sixth statement. Aerobic respiration produces more ATP than Anaerobic respiration. Next, from number 4, match the following. Amphitribral bundle, that is synon, fern, cambium is responsible for secondary growth. Third one, amphivasal vascular bundles are seen in dracina, xylem, conduction of water, phloem, translocation of food. Then Roman number 5, first question you marked already. Second one, where does the carbon that is used in photosynthesis come from? Where does the carbon that is used in photosynthesis come from? The answer is, the carbon that is used in photosynthesis comes from CO2 in the air. Comes from CO2 in the air. The carbon that is used in photosynthesis comes from comes from CO2 in the air. Third question. What is the common step in aerobic and anaerobic pathway? Glycolysis.
glycolysis is the common stir. It is, it is common in both aerobe and anaerobe. The first step in aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration is glycolysis. So glycolysis is common to both aerobes and anaerobes. Fourth one, name the phenomenon by which carbohydrates are oxidized to release ethyl alcohol. That is fermentation. or anaerobic respiration fermentation or anaerobic respiration next roman numeral, numeral six short answers first first you mark already second also you mark Third one, draw and label the structure of oxisomes. What are oxisomes? Mitochondrial membrane. How? Fine. This inner membrane we are fine. Tennis, racket shaped particles known as oxisomes. These are involved in ATP synthesis. Draw and label the structure of oxisome. It is given in page number 183, figure 12.1. 11 183 figure 12.11 next one is fifth question what is photosynthesis and where in a cell does it occur answer is given in page number 181 what is photosynthesis first paragraph from your market mother equation also next one more question is asked where in a cell does it occur Occur. Why does photosynthesis occur? Photosynthesis occur in all green parts of the plant such as leaves, stem and flower buds. Next, what is respiratory quotient? Question number 6. What is respiratory quotient? It is given in page number 184. Respiratory quotient. Page 184. Last paragraph, respiratory quotient is the ratio of volume of carbon dioxide liberated and volume of oxygen consumed during respiration. It is expressed as RQ is equal to volume of CO2 liberated by volume of O2 consumed. Next, question number 7. Why should the light dependent reaction occur before the light independent reaction? Why should the light dependent reaction occur before the light independent reaction? It's given in page 181. 181. See the heading light dependent photosynthesis. Below the heading, fourth line, you have to start like this. The photosynthetic pigments absorb the light energy and convert it into chemical energy. ATP and NADPH2. These products of light reaction moves out, move out from the thylakoid to the stroma of the chloroplast. Next, next paragraph, third line. During this reaction, during this reaction, which reaction? During light independent reaction or dark reaction, CO2 is reduced into carbohydrate with the help of light generated ATP and NADP. Highs too. So, the light dependent reaction should occur before the light independent reaction. Right like that. So, the light dependent reaction should occur before the light independent reaction. Question number 8. Write the reaction for photosynthesis. Write the reaction for photosynthesis. It is given in page 181. Reaction only ought to write 6 CO2 plus H2O plus C6 H2O6. That reaction you have to write. Next to long answer. Roman number 7. First one. First one. A you mark already. Monocot root and dicot root. 
Then set B, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Differentiate the following, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. You have to write down the answer in a paper and paste it near the page. Differentiate aerobic and anaerobic respiration. First point, aerobic respiration occur in the presence of oxygen. Oxygen. Anaerobic respiration occurs in the absence of oxygen. Second point, glucose is completely oxidized into carbon dioxide and water. But anaerobic respiration, glucose is incompletely oxidized into ethyl alcohol and CO2. Third point, it occurred in the cytoplasm and mitochondria. It occurs only in the cytoplasm. Last point is, it consists of three stages. It consists of two stages. These are the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Next question. Long answer second one. Describe and name three stages of cellular respiration that aerobic organism used to obtain energy from glucose. It's given in page 183. Aerobic respiration. Aerobic, it's a long answer, so you have to mark what is aerobic respiration, equation of aerobic respiration, describe the stages, all the stages, glycolysis, graph cycle, electron transport chain. So you have to mark from aerobic respiration is a type of cellular respiration up to the next page, acceptor, uh, oxygen, the acceptor or ultimate acceptor of electrons get reduced to water up to that, you have to mark it. Next one, how does the light, third long answer, how does the light dependent reaction differ from the light independent 
reaction. How does the light dependent reaction differ from the light independent reaction? What are the end product and reactants in each? Why does each reaction occur within the chloroplast? Long answer, third one. First you have to write down the differentiation. How does the light dependent reaction differ from the light independent reaction? Roman number 7, 3. First point, it is called Hill reaction or light reaction. It is called Hill reaction or light reaction. Or light reaction. Light independent reaction, it is called dark reaction or Calvin cycle. Or Calvin cycle. Here, this reaction is carried out in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast. Here, this reaction is carried out in the strom of the chloroplast. Then third point, photosynthetic pigments absorb light energy and convert it into chemical energy ATP and NADP has to. Photosynthetic pigments absorbs light energy. and convert it into chemical energy ATP and NADP has to here CO2 is reduced into carbohydrate CO2 is reduced into carbohydrate. Then it, it is carried, next point is, it is carried out in the presence of light. In the presence of light. Yeah. 
light independent reaction it is carried out the absence of light these are the differences between light dependent and light independent reaction next what are the end product and reactants in each what are the end products and reactants in each reactants of light reaction that is water sunlight and pigments reactants of light reaction that is water sunlight and pigment products produced in light reaction atp and nadph2 then reactants of dark reaction that is co2 atp and nadph2 these are the reactants products glucose water and oxygen products glucose water and oxygen okay children you have to learn these topics uh, these question answers well and we can meet again in the next class thank you children